Welcome back to the channel. Now, this is something I really didn't want to do, but sort of tried to sell the car as is with the engine problems and it's just not going anywhere, obviously. Um, I don't think it's the fact that it's not worth it, it's the fact that we don't really know fully what's with the engine and what the problem is, other than that lifter. So, I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet and we're going to pull the manifold off and, um, well, I am, David's going to kind of watch and be highly amused at me swearing. Um, you're going to pull the manifold off and see what it's like inside. We're going to assess which lifter is stuck. Um, and check the condition of the camshaft out, what the engine's like internally, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, let's get the bonnet open and crack on with it. Now, since David is a glass half full kind of guy, um, he said, start it up, see if the new oil we've put in has worked it, its way around the engine, and maybe it will have stopped the tap hit noise. But I highly doubt that. Well, we've got a fully charged battery. It hasn't started in a couple of weeks. Let's give it a go. Yeah, no, it hasn't made the noise stop. I figured it wouldn't have. I knew it wouldn't have. Knew it! Yeah. And because we don't have a fan belt on it, um, I'm going to turn it off. Right, let's get a rocker cover off. Right, we got both of them off. It's time to test it. Go. <laughs> Pretty good. I like how I've seen so far. Hmm. Give it a kick over. A minute. Ah. Oh, oh, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I had to, guys. It was too easy. This is all very interesting. Found it? Got it. Where? Ooh, that's loose as fuck. Move. I can't see it, Larry. I can't see it either. Right, move out, wait a minute. I'm going to try and come for another angle. Hang on, move you in a minute. Anyway. So right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Right. That is loose as hell. So first thing we to do. Not good. Well, we found it anyway, and it was on this side. Right, I need some rag from your hand before I go out and spend a grand. No, don't touch my microphone. Give me a bit of rag, or what put on you? No! There's an £80 snap-on jacket. All well, right. I will then. No, you bloody won't. I'll have your guts for guards if you mess this jacket up get anymore. Me, get <laughs> Alright, alright, I'll get the rag, I'll get the rag. Kingdom, right, we've got some news, and it's not really good. Not well, we found what the problem is. Um, this push rod back here is uh, unfortunately rather bent. Now. We're just about to take the rocker shafts out. Now, David, what did you say about the valve? <laughs> Look at the state of that. What? Brilliant. Look at the state of Holy that. Holy crap. That is <laughs> buggered. <laughs> Brilliant. I've never seen one that bad. Oh, my never. God. Never seen one that bad. <laughs> that is oh. horrific. No wonder it was knocking a bit. <laughs> Jesus. Brilliant. You bet the valve's intact. We'll have a look at the, at the valve a minute. What might have happened is the hyd hydraulic lifter not operating 
and the push rod might have come out of its cup on, on the rocker arm and hit the edge of the arm and bent that way. And we drove it like that? Yeah. Either that or, or the valve is stuck and the... That's really bad. And the piston's been up and whacked it, which I hope it isn't. Yeah, because that would be really bad. Yeah. Uh, see what the valve's like. Uh, I need me long screwdriver. Where's he to? He's there. I mean, this isn't really ideal. We're about to find out if the valve's buggered or not. If we can put the valve up and down a bit. Hope we can. Please. It's not really a... That one. Just as hard. Assume. I'm not really on the stem of it, I'm only on the edge of it. But yeah, it's it moving. goes up and down now. Yeah, it does. We'll take the rocker shaft off in a minute and get on the actual stem of the valve and see, what, see what's what there. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's bad. I hope not. That's the most bent push I've ever seen I've though. Never, ever seen one that bad. Right. Hey mum, come look at this push rod. Man, bear in mind, careful not to put it on my paint. Bear in mind, this should be straight, right? David, show her. What the hell? Bent as anything. Straight. How did that happen? Bent as a nine bob note, isn't it? Basically, uh, I think it must something. Have been a joy rider. It was not a joy rider. That's as straight as Philip Schofield. Oh, there goes the cat. Well done, Mum. You muppet. You just... Well done, Mum. Well done, Mum. Top of the valve now. Please work. Too much oil on it. Yeah, there is a bit, isn't it? So wipe the oil off. No. Can't get a grip on it. See if we can turn the valve even. Can't get a grip on the bloody thing. Uh, Too much oil. I'll get me moly grips. Always help. Yeah. I mean, at least we know that. You know, at least we know that um, it's repairable. Should we check the other push rods out? Have you checked them? Have you checked them though? I mean, that's definitely what was making the noise, that's for sure. No wonder it doesn't rev well. Mm, yes, he's in yes. Careful. Well, you've put all the stuff on the wing, what do you want? Someone's got to hold the camera. You know that's not true. <laughs> it wind off any more. No. Is the valve turning? Yeah. There's a mark on it. I scratched on. Well, scratched in the oil. You can see it is turning. So is that a good sign then? But it means it's not b b bent at all. Yeah, the valve's not bent. If it was bent, it wouldn't spin. So that's okay, the valve seems to be okay. Oh, so we dodged a bullet. Uh, yes. And it's basically just a push rod that's push rod, yeah. bent as a nine bob note. Yeah. Should we check the other push rods? I don't think there's. I think we should. Need to, really. as a die. Yeah. In your eye. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> now it will never go back in. Well, at least we know. What? 
careful how you position these. <laughs> Is that yeah. alright? No. Is it in? Yeah, sure it's in. Yeah, yeah, it is in. What's that on the bottom of that push rod? Mm. Alright, well it's not the end of the world, is it? So I'm guessing we put the rocker covers on. No. It's going to be sat outside. Get rid of cloth to cover it. Or, well, you could put them on if you want to get go through all that shite again. Well, it's better than wanking it, isn't it? And it'll be easier because the rocker covers aren't. The rocker shaft isn't on. Well, might make this one easier. Won't make the other one no easier. I could have sworn it was the other side. Yeah, I would have. I'd have put cash on it to say it was the other other side. But he wasn't. You want? I'd have lost me money. I'd have gone home penniless. Now I've got to edit some fake <sighs> video of you saying that you were bet on that side and free cash. Yeah. Well, that was relatively easy. Easy, lemon squeezy. So do we start it now, or? Yeah. Get out the boozer with four. Four cylinders only. Down the boozer. Might take a bit of time. Right. Was going to end the video of that last little clip. But uh, we've been thinking, and what do you think, Dave? You think it's sensible we just change all the push rods, get a set for 40 quid or something? Might as well, yeah. Change change the bloody lot of them. Yeah, you don't know what the rest of them are like. They might have got little kinks in them here, here, here and there. They, they could be the wrong ones, even. I'd, yeah, just buy a complete set. Then you'll know for sure, won't yeah. you? Yeah. With a, with a bit of luck. Mm. Mind you. What do you, uh, you, you, uh, think I should buy a P5, don't you? I think you should, yeah. No, they have a nice car. Uh, well, built a bit, bit similar to a tank. <laughs> the six engines were, well. Uh, bomb proof, bomb really. Bomb proof, totally. Yeah, they're a nice car. I've worked on them years ago. Have you? Back in the 1970s, when I was at school still, worked down at West Cornwall Motors and Marine. There was one there. We had the, had the head off it. Uh, was it a six? Yeah. yeah. Odd thing. Uh, inlet valve on the top, over, yeah. over, uh, overhead and side exhaust. Uh, Very yeah. archaic engine, but yes. bomb proof. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Totally, yeah. Good engines. The ones in the P4, which I believe is the same engine, people have tuned them. You can get special heads for them and triple Webbers. And there was one at uh, the jo Le Jog Rally a few years ago, and it w really went quite well. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> you wouldn't imagine it. No. I've just had an idea. I've had a brainwave. We are going to get a hacksaw and make our own push rod. Yeah. Uh, this snap on screwdriver. Yeah. Good. You know what? It'd be more expensive because they're eighty pound each. You remember about that? Well, here's the um, push rod. <laughs> it is po possibly the worst one I've ever seen. Actually, I've seen a fair few, but I mean, <laughs> not only is it bent that way, but look at it. It's it's <laughs> it's like a camel who's got the mumps. I mean, it's it's really bad. The fact we drove it with that is unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. Else happened. Yeah, exactly. That could have gone really bad. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, it, it had, it gave all the symptoms of a um a sticky lifter. Good, yeah. You know the ticking and. Yeah. You'd have thought so. In fact, the first time we had the car here, we started it up and uh, we did have a sticky l l lifter because ticking disappeared. Mm. But when it came back, it came back permanent. <laughs> With a vengeance. Yes, because a little bit of damage had been done. Yeah, but, uh, well, there strange. we go. Anywho, well, the good news is that uh, it will be fixed and it will be, you know, with all these problems sorted, it will be worth a lot more money and I can sell it. The reason I'm going to sell it um, is because it's kind of too good to stay outside and we're finally going to get the SD1 done. Um, 
The SD1 has problems with the braking system. The engine's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Structurally, it's pretty damn good as well. Uh, I mean, the floors are immaculate, everything. It needs a little bit, but not much. Um, so, you'll be seeing a lot more SD1 content soon. I constantly slate the car to my mum, because she did it with Kismet for years, but I do I do like the car, and you know, I do love the car, really. Um, you know, the car was actually given to me by two um, fans, believe it or not. Um, they bought the car for me as a gift, which was just unbelievable. Um, I did have talked about them before on the old channel. Um, sadly, they passed away, and uh, they helped me a lot with Kismet as well. So this is the kind of last car we have that they were involved with, and we don't really want to get rid of it for that reason. I mean, they meant a lot to us, and they really liked the car, and there's loads of videos of Mum driving it, emails we had between them, them talking about how they're happy that Mum's enjoying the car, and we love the car, but, uh, yeah, and it's a Series 1. It's actually a 1979, um, but it was registered in 1980. But, yeah, this will be the next project to get on the road. Anyway... If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that sort of thing, comment down below. Um, yeah, I guarantee you no one expected that. And until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.